So what's going on guys, this is DIY Dan again and this is another episode of Backroads Arizona. In this video, I'm going to be installing the spare tire mount. I looked online trying to find something I liked. Nothing really accommodated what I wanted to do, which was make the back of the razor still useful because I like to take my dogs with me. Or if I put an ice chest back there, I don't want it in the way of the ice chest. So let's get to it. So as with all my videos guys, when I do something stupid, I tell you that stuff too. So in this case, this was my first attempt at making this rack, and I put the bars straight across instead of up with two 90s, and that was working fine until I decided I needed to take it off to get it powder coated, and I could not get it out from between the two roll cage bars. Not that I didn't think about that fact, but I thought I could wedge it out for some reason. So I bought these clamps off of Amazon, and they will hold really tight to your roll cage and they sell them in various sizes. So I actually used these to make a receiver hitch mount on the back of my razor. I also used it for a grab bar handle that I'll be doing a video on here pretty quick in my back seat. So I haven't had a problem with them shifting once you tighten them down. So I made this all out of inch and a half pipe and I used these 290s which were only about five bucks a piece and tack welded them to the main cross bar that's going across the top. Then I took a grinder and ground out and made kind of a U shape on the other end of the 90 so it'll fit around my half moon clamps that I had bought to fit my roll cage. It did take me a couple times to get this to fit correctly. I would grind a little bit, bring it over, set it on my half moon clamps, see where I needed to grind it out, go grind it out a little bit, try it again until I got a good fit. Once I was happy with the way that fit, I went ahead and tack welded it in place. Make sure you disconnect the ground on the battery to protect the computers on the razor before welding. This is a fire blanket to protect the razor while I tack welded the crossbar onto the half moon clamps. As I tack welded them, I went ahead and checked my measurement from the cross tube to the upper roll cage bar to make sure it was the same. And I did have to tap the one side down a little bit to make it even. After getting it tacked, I wanted to throw my dogs up in the back to make sure height-wise it was going to be okay for them. Plus, I wanted the spare tire to be up out of the way, so I still had full use of the bed anyways. Once we decided we had a good height as far as that goes, I went ahead and just set the tire in place over it and made another little inch and a half piece of tubing. Contoured it out the same way with my grinder, and then I had a round piece of steel about an 8 inch circle that I used to mount the actual tire and wheel to. After everything was tacked and we liked the way it looked, we took it off so I could completely weld everything on the workbench instead of on the razor. One thing I would have done differently is I would have tapered the edges of my pipe and the 90 a little more so my welds would not have been as visible after I got it done powder coated. Then I got some studs and lug nuts that matched what was on the razor already. I drilled one hole for the tire, put the stud in, used my impact anti-seize on the threads and some washers to pull the stud to the plate. Since the lug nuts were capped, I could not pull it all the way down at once. So I would pull it down a little bit, take it off, add some washers, pull it down again and repeat that process until the stud was sucked all the way to the plate. The drill bit I had was a little too small for the stud, so I had to use a hammer to assist in getting the stud all the way sucked to the plate. Once getting that done, I placed a wheel on the spare tire mount. So now that I've drilled that one, I set the wheel on and I made sure I was dead center. Now I'm gonna drill the other one. When you drill your hole for your stud, you want it to be the size of the solid part of the steel, not the serrated or knurled part. I always tend to go a little small to start because I can always go bigger. Once I drilled the other hole, I went through the same process to get the stud pulled up into place using the hammer and the impact. With the lug nuts that I got for the spare tire mount, the studs were too long, so I had to take a grinder and cut the studs down a little bit. Then I used the grinder to smooth off the edges. After cutting the studs down, I went ahead and placed the wheel back on the mount 
and realized I needed to shorten them just a little bit more so the lug nuts would pull the wheel tight against the spare tire mount without bottoming out the lug nuts. So after it was all said and done, I sent it down to powder coating and had it powder coated white to match my cage and then set it in place and tightened down the Allen heads. And I have been on two trips, went to the dunes and went up to the cinders and flagstaff and haven't had any issues whatsoever. So if I wouldn't have got it powder coated, I would have been probably like 50 bucks into this. However, I uh, ended up being about 100 bucks with the powder coating. But it is doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is making it so I can still use my bed in my razor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some good ideas and hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Later.